I know that many of you know that my heart longs to see a mighty revival among God's people. I believe that's the great hope for our world today is to see the manifestation of the glory of God. And that's what revival is. It's a manifestation of God's glory. But there, there are two things that normally drive us to pray for revival. First of all, when we're powerless and we see, I can't be the kind of person that God wants me to be. And we've talked about that earlier. But a second thing is when we see our lack of compassion or our lack of passion for people, our lack of love for people. It drives us to pray and ask God to give us that love and to fill us with that love. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. For you see, there's a story in the Bible in Matthew chapter 14 where, where Jesus has just found out about his cousin John. <laughs> and, and John had uh, just been beheaded. And, and uh, you know, as a man, we've talked about Jesus being the son of God and the son of man. But as a man, what it must have done to Jesus. His heart must have broken. And the Bible says that Jesus retreated to a, a very lonely place and there he sought the face of God. He met with God. And something very interesting we find is that the multitudes followed Jesus. Now, when the multitudes followed Jesus, the disciples wouldn't say, hey, hey let's get rid of these people. And Jesus said, no. And we, we find that he healed their sick. And he, he showed compassion towards them. But, but not only did he do that, we, we find that they were hungry. And so he said, let's feed them. He, he took care of every need they had. He had a heart of compassion. And, and what happens in revival is we begin to seek God. We begin to say, oh God, fill my heart with your love. And when we begin to love like Christ loves, oh yes, we'll draw to that lonely place. We'll go to that place where, where we just get alone and we meet with God. But then, as we have met with the Lord, we will look out and we will see the needs of people and we'll reach out and touch those people and minister to those people and, and see God bring healing to those people and see God do a mighty work among those people and we will love them even as Christ loved them. You see, we not only need power to live for Christ, but we need the love of God to flood our souls. When that happens, that's the beginning of revival. We need to go to our lonely place, our secret place, and there get alone with God and let Him just baptize us in His love that we might love people as He loves them. That's what happens when revival comes.